Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Yes, it's a different day. Yes, I'm still looking red. Yes, I'm still looking dusty. That's because today uh, I've been back on the job that when I put a video up last time that I look red and dusty, it's the same job. So it's a different day, but I've just ended up in the same mess. It's Friday, get in there my son. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I was supposed to be working this weekend. That's now gone out the window. Monday I go on holiday, so fucking get in there. My holiday has started. Right, we are back with another beer review. Baz is excited. Baz is coming back with a beer review like he said. He don't even know. That's how excited Bazo is. He don't even know what the fuck he's saying. Excuse my French. Uh, right, let's get sensible. Calm down a bit. Let's lower the tone. Another beer review, and this is another one that my good mate from Simo Sups, Josh, Go and check him out. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. I'm useless with all that, so I do apologize to Josh. Uh, but yeah, check out Simo Sups. Go and have a watch. He's a mad man and a nice man. Uh, now, this beer was from him. We'd done a beer swap in Manchester when we were supposed to be doing the PD Con. Uh, and what we've got is another local one to him out of Preston, which is where the man is out of. And it's from Hopworks Brew Co. And this is their In Theory Mountain IPA coming in at 6%. He will comment, no doubt. I don't know how much it was. I didn't ask because you don't, do you? A 500 ml can. Now, a Mountain IPA is a cross between a New England and a West Coast. So it, it's sort of like the best of both sort of styles, but not overpowering of each style, if you know what I mean. So I've done one of theirs before. What was the other one I've done? The Pale Ale. Nice enough beer, nice enough beer. I think he said it was £3.50, 5% pale ale. Didn't wow you. It wasn't, it, 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 was, it was better than supermarket pale ales and what have you. It was up there, it was another level, but it wasn't up to sort of, if you like, they are steady rolling man sort of pale ale standard. But it's a decent beer nonetheless. I'm going to take a guess that this was about £4. So a big thank you to Simo. Thank you, pal. Let's get her cracked open. Put it in my go-to white hag glass, because I do like that one. Come out the fridge about five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, while I just finished off a different beer, which I didn't review. It was actually one of the German beers I just sat down uh, because I finished work, then went to look at this other job. Well, not look at it, but the one that I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow. Uh, and then by the time I chatted and all that lot, I, I got home and I just thought, right, I just want a beer. No review, not straight away anyway. So yeah, so run this one. Looking sort of similar to the one that, uh, the pale ale. This is looking a little bit more, say, marmalady, I think, from what I can recall. But it looks good. Now, I've had a few mountain IPAs. I do like them. I do like the mixture of the two. So beer in a glass. There we go. There's... It's a bold sort of orange colour. I would like to say there's maybe a little bit of green in there, if you like. It's a gr little greeny tinge. There's, I'm sure there's carbonation going up, but can't see it. We've got about a finger and a half of white, sort of mediocre sized bubble head. I do like to give it a swirl because it sort of tidies up the head a little bit. But it looks decent. I'm getting a nice aroma. There is still a bit left in the can, so the beer might change afterwards. So let's dive in with the nose and see what we get. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you get a, a nice hoppy aroma. You can def definitely tell the difference between some beers with the hops. Uh, some are real sort of whack you in the face. And I tend to find they tend to be the ones of that sort of like real high quality. Some tend to be that little bit lower, which is what I'm going to say this is. But you still get that hoppy aroma and then you get like the dog shit at the bottom, which you can't smell nothing. Uh, but this smells good. You definitely get a juiciness in there. Citrus pineapple juiciness. With, I would say on the first sniff, the first sniff, add a little twang of the West Coast style in there as well. But it smells nice. So I'm gonna give the can a little bit more of a swirl and we are gonna get a bit more in there see 
what we get whoa there boy there's still a little bit left in the can i don't think it's changed particularly it's a hazy sort of number as you can see let's dive in a big thanks to simo hotworks bruco in theory mountain ipa six percent if i didn't tell you in a 500 mil can cheers and it's friday jamaica Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice middle of the road stuff that is. Now, <laughs> try and describe it. It's sort of, when they mix these two styles, it's sort of not as bitter uh, as a West Coast is. Norm a West Coast IPA is, is, is a very sort of bitter number, hazy, but it loses some of that bitterness uh, and a New England is very juicy and fruity, and it, they, they kind of tone the both down, so you get a, a, a mediocre sort of mix, if you like. Let's go in again. Average body, I'm going to say average, Medio mediocre, average, but nice. Certainly not, you know, massively dense or heavy for a six percenter. Small bubbles, lots of bubbles, but small bubbles, which gives it a nice smoothness and a nice mouthfeel. On the taste, it's juicy, it's fruity. Mango, orange, big sort of citrus notes. I mean, it's saying tropical. I'm not sure I'm really getting the tropical side in there. A bit of pine. I think there is a little bit of that lingering in the background. Even maybe a little bit on the nose. There, there's, there's a resinous feel, a resinous feel sort of on the nose. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a sort of subtle sort of pine. <laughs> Pardon me. Which that and the... Uh, you know, there's definitely a grapefruit sort of bitterness as well. And even maybe a little, I don't know. Yeah, you could say there's subtle notes of grapefruit in there maybe on the nose. Uh, I certainly got it when I burped before, the sort of grapefruit and that sort of bitter finish. So there's your West Coast side, if you like that, that sort of resinous, piney grapefruit thing. And the fruity juiciness is from like your New England sort of thing. I, I do think the New England side of it though, maybe is the more prominent sort of things that you pick up. A little bit of dankness in there. It's funny because I had that slurp then. And I, I, I know it says low bitterness. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, it's like the bitterness is almost at the start. You drink it, you're hit with that bitterness, and then it goes, it almost starts out West Coast, goes New England. And again, then on the back, when all that juiciness has gone, it leaves you with that, sort of piney grapefruit sort of bitterness right on the taste buds at the back so i guess in a way it's definitely doing what it should be doing and in all fairness it ain't bad it still has that little sort of i had well i had this with the priest town one 
Uh, and this, the hops in this are Idaho 7, Cryo, Simcoe and Columbus. I think Columbus was in the Priestown one and there was a Cryo hop in there. And I don't know, some hops just have that. And this has got a subtle, a subtle hint of that sort of hop in, in there. There's, there's, there's something. But it's, it's, it's not enough to put me off. Whereas the Priestown Broom one that I had, I found it too much and, and just not for me. Whereas this one, it's just about staying in the boundaries with that sort of sharp sort of taste, if you like. But do I like the beer? Yeah, I do like the beer, actually. Uh, again, I'm a fussy sod and you can't knock everything, can you? I do like it. I do like a bigger, bolder body in a beer and that. But 6%, it drinks nicely. It probably makes it more sessionable. The 6%, I'm going to say you get that because you kind of get a dankness and that bitterness in there. I'm not going to say you massively get it, but it just feels a bigger number. Uh, but for me, yeah, Hotworks Bruco, in theory, Mountain IPA. I'm not going to say it's the best one I've had, but it's certainly a decent one. And I do like it. I, you know, would I, I wouldn't rush out and buy it personally. I wouldn't rush out and say, oh, I really enjoyed that that much. I'm not going to go and buy it. But I would drink it again. Certainly if I saw it in a pub and that, you know, it wouldn't be one I'd be going, oh, I'll try that. Uh, I'd happily drink it again. So, uh, yeah, Hotworks Bruco, in theory, Mountain IPA, 6%. Give it a go if you like a mixture of the two styles. It's well worth picking up. Like I say, not sure how much it was. I'm going to take a guess at about four quid, uh, judging from what Simo told me. Big thank you to Simo once again. Cheers, pal. Uh, go and check out his channel. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. And even though you won't see this, I'll probably be, well, will I be on holiday? I don't know. I may well be in Jamaica by the time this one gets uploaded. But uh, I'll try and get some content out while I'm here or while I'm there, depending on how you want to look at it. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Like I say, look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.